First of all, let's make sure you've got everything set up just right. Here in the settings section, you'll find everything you need to configure your trading environment. First up, let's talk about setting up your instrument. In this section, you have the flexibility to add all the instruments you trade or want to backtest. You'll notice that there are already several instruments listed, especially those from the futures market. If you trade CFDs or other instruments that are not listed, don't worry. It's easy to add them. Just click the plus button to add a new instrument. For each instrument you add, you'll be prompted to enter three key values. The tick value per one unit, the tick step and the decimal points. This customization is important because each contract, currency pair or CFD has its own specification. Quick note. When discussing futures, we will refer to each price movement as a tick, while for currency pairs like Euro US Dollar, we will use the term PIP to denote the smallest price movement. In the instrument setup, you will find a field labeled tick value, which for forex pairs like Euro US Dollar is referred to as PIP value. For futures market instruments, we've already preset them for your convenience in accordance with the contract specifications. Let's start with configuring your trading instruments with a practical example using Euro US Dollar. PIP value for Euro US Dollar. Each PIP represents a $10 movement per unit. Since most brokers are quoting currency pairs to five decimal places, capturing the smallest price movement or pipette, we set the value to $1 per unit. The Euro US Dollar pair moves in increments as small as 0.00001 also known as a pipette. This is the value for the tick or pip step. Therefore, we set the decimal points to 5 for precise tracking of these movements. Always check the price quotes of your broker for each currency pair. Let me quickly visualize this for you. A move from 1.09250 to 1.09251 to indicates a single pipette change equivalent to $1 per unit. Conversely, a shift from 1.09 to 50 to 1.09 to 60 represents a one pip movement, translating to $10 per unit. You can do this for every instrument you trade or want to backtest and add as many as you like to your list. And there you have it. Setting up your instruments in M7 metrics is quick and easy, allowing you to tailor your trading experience for maximum efficiency. Stay tuned as we continue our journey together.